The Korean people's great leader Kim Jong-il developed the immortal Chuch idea in depth and raised it to the acme of human thought. Kim Jong-il carries forward the Chuche revolutionary cause pioneered by President Kim Il-sung and is making a great contribution to the development of human thoughts and theories. President Kim Il-sung said, Comrade Kim Jong-il is an outstanding philosopher, statesman, and leader with versatile talents and capabilities. He is not only the greatest ideological and theoretical genius of the present times, but the greatest man human history has ever produced, the greatest man who is versed in all fields. Respected comrade Kim Jong-il is a great thinker and theoretician. The progressive people of the world highly respect Kim Jong-il, who is developing and enriching the great man-centered church idea and powerfully encouraging the forward movement of the people in the age of independence. Looking at Kim Jong-il's works, people of different strata from many parts of the world said, The great Korean leader comrade Kim Jong-il is the highest incarnation of human thought. He is the great man of the present age who is standing on the highest peak of intelligence, leadership ability and learning, the peak which nobody can climb. All his works are perfect and famous in that they are original, truthful, and strong in the spirit of the times. The miraculous changes and fruit of creation in Korea have been achieved by comrade Kim Jong-il, the great statesman and great thinker. To foreign friends and persons of different strata to these endless visitors, President Kim Il-sung said warmly, Work in our country is successful now and will be successful in the future too, because comrade Kim Jong-il continues with a revolutionary course excellently. Statesmanship requires philosophical knowledge. Leaders' level of leadership and their abilities depend on their political philosophy. There are many renowned statesmen in the world, but few of them have a correct political philosophy. I am proud of the fact that Kim Jong-il in our country is an authoritative philosopher and theoretician. Since his university days, comrade Kim Jong-il has been fond of thinking and studying with unusual interest in philosophical questions.
Ever since his days in Kim Il-sung University, Kim Jong-il has been engaged in ideological and theoretical activity to brilliantly inherit and develop President Kim Il-sung's revolutionary thought. Kim Jong-il made sure that Juche was firmly established in education and scientific research work by thoroughly eliminating sycophantic and dogmatic elements in education and having teaching materials newly written on the basis of President Kim Il-sung's thought, theory and policy. Kim Jong-il personally wrote and published many treatises from the viewpoint of Juche. In his scientific treatise, he corrected a historical writing about the unification of three nations by Silla and the appraisal of Kim Yosin, which had been distorted by flankist historians for many centuries. He also established a theory of imperialism in a fresh light on the basis of scientific analysis and philosophical anatomy of all the aspects of modern imperialism. Thus, he provided a powerful ideological and theoretical weapon for anti-imperialist, anti-US struggle. Kim Jong-il said, We are studying in order to carry out our revolution successfully. We must therefore harden ourselves through education and productive labor and firmly establish a revolutionary world outlook. Kim Jong-il also illustrated the outstanding idea of strengthening the unity of ideology and purpose of the ranks and faithfully learning military affairs by attaching importance to them. Although under the pressure of time assisting the president in his field guidance, Kim Jong-il continued thinking and inquiry and wrote a large number of works. More than 1,200 historic works published by Kim Jong-il during his university years are shining as ideological and theoretical wealth for the immense amount of content, profundity and originality. Foreign friends who visited the university vehemently praised that Kim Jong-il, who undertook ideological and theoretical activity from his early years, is a great thinker, theoretician and statesman with brilliant intelligence and preeminent qualifications. Since the first day of his work on the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, Kim Jong-il has carried on his ideological and theoretical activity more energetically. 
He has tirelessly carried on the ideological and theoretical activity with far-sighted intelligence in order to find scientific solutions to the many urgent theoretical and practical questions awaiting answers with the development of times. He made a full review of the working class theory of the preceding age and clarified its historical limitations and on this basis repeated painstaking inquiries to prove the originality and superiority of the revolutionary thought of President Kim Il-sung. On his visit to the angling site at Mupur, an anti-Japanese revolutionary site on the northern tip of Korea, Kim Jong-il continued profound thinking to formulate the president's revolutionary thought and clarify its significance in the world history. On February the 19th, 1974, Kim Jong-il defined the president's revolutionary thought and declared modeling the whole of society on the church idea as the ultimate program of the Workers' Party of Korea. Kim Jong-il raised President Kim Il-sung's revolutionary thought to the acme of human thought. Speaking highly of his ideological and theoretical activity, President Kim Il-sung said, Comrade Kim Jong-il occupies the first place in brilliantly carrying forward and developing my revolutionary thought, the core of which is the church idea. In order to model the whole society on the church idea successfully, Kim Jong-il undertook the ideological and theoretical activity more energetically in order to transform all the areas of society as required by church idea. He kindled the flames of newspaper revolution, report revolution, and publication revolution, and ensured that all the press became powerful ideological weapons, truly contributing to the modeling of whole society on the church idea.
scientifically systematized a man sent the Juche philosophy and effected a radical change in the development of the revolutionary world outlook of the working class. This occupies the most important place in his ideological and theoretical achievements. said, the Chuch idea is a new philosophical thought which centers on man. The Chuch idea raised a fundamental question of philosophy by regarding man as the main factor and elucidated a philosophical principle that man is the master of everything and decides everything. By tireless, energetic, ideological and theoretical activity, Kim Jong-il brilliantly evolved the Chuch idea to become a great guiding ideology of the age of independence and made immortal achievements in the development of the philosophical thought of mankind. In this regard, the president said, Comrade Kim Jong-il wrote on the Chuch idea and many other famous works and thus staunchly championed and defended the Chuch idea and continued to develop and enrich it. I read his treatise on the Chuch idea and was deeply moved by his profound philosophical knowledge and high theoretical level. President Kim Il-sung proudly said, that comrade Kim Jong-il set forth the policy of party building, the policy of modeling the entire party on the Chuch idea, and strengthened and developed our party into unbreakable united ranks. He guided the party members and working people to follow the study method created during the anti-Japanese armed struggle in order to train them into revolutionary fighters who are solidly prepared ideologically and theoretically. regarded it as a novel duty to strengthen and develop the Workers' Party of Korea, which was founded by the President, forever into the party of comrade Kim Il-sung, and devoted all his efforts to realize it. In his classic works, he gave the definition that the working class party is in essence the party of its leader and that is the motherly party which is responsible for the people's destiny and serves them. 
when socialist parties in power crumbled in many countries and when the international communist movement was undergoing serious twists and turns. Kim Jong-il arranged a national training course for party cell secretaries and provided a historical work for making all the cells of the party royal cells. Foreign friends expressed admiration and excitement, saying that the magnificent ranks of single-hearted unity were brilliant achievement which could be made only by the Workers' Party of Korea under the leadership of comrade Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il was awarded the title of the Hero of the Republic on his 40th birthday for his immortal achievements for the party and the revolution. Congratulating Kim Jong-il, who was awarded the title of the Hero of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, President Kim Il-sung said that Kim Jong-il rendered great services in strengthening and developing the Workers' Party of Korea into the revolutionary party of Juche type and in achieving unbreakable unity. Kim Jong-il illustrated a Juche-orientated idea and theory for speeding up socialist construction to meet the requirement of modeling the whole society on the Juche idea and gave wise leadership to the struggle to realize them. said that it was the party still like confidence and will to build a society in which the independence of the popular masses is completely realized under the banner of the ideological, technological and cultural revolutions. The ideological, technological and cultural revolutions are our party's basic strategic line which was originally formulated by the great leader for the building of socialism and communism. Defining the spirit campaign as the basic form of struggle for socialism in pushing forward all work like lightning, Kim Jong-il said. Accelerating socialist construction to the maximum by a powerful spirit campaign is precisely the decisive guarantee for socialism to overwhelm capitalism imperialism. The guiding ideology and theory of the Workers' Party of Korea, which gives priority to ideological work and arouses the popular masses to creative endeavors, are the secret for advancing the socialist economy and effecting its leap forward in spite of the imperialist's malicious economic blockade.
President Kim Il-sung expressed his firm conviction that the three revolutions would be successfully carried out and that the Juche revolutionary cause would be accomplished because Kim Jong-il is well versed in all fields of revolution and construction. Kim Jong-il is indeed an ideological and theoretical genius and an outstanding statesman who is well versed in the economy, military affairs, culture, diplomacy and all other fields. Kim Jong-il conducts all his activities on the principle of centering on the leader. By his original thinking and activity, he wrote the Juche-orientated theory of architecture and opened up the great heyday of construction. great monumental structures built in Pyongyang. Inspecting with satisfaction the great monumental structures erected in Pyongyang, the lasting creations which will remain perfect even in the distant future, President Kim Il-sung said. Comrade Kim Jong-il is also a genius in architecture and is working many miracles which surprise the world public. Comrade Kim Jong-il has erected gigantic creations only in a few years, creations which should have taken another man decades to build them. That is why foreigners praise him as the king of creation. I can say that Comrade Kim Jong-il has ensured that the church idea which I sowed and grew in the soil of our people thrives into thick forest and bears rich food. When he met Norodom Sihanouk, king of Cambodia, President Kim Il-sung said in recollection, Comrade Kim Jong-il, who leads the revolution in construction, is also well versed in art. Under his leadership, the heyday of Juche oriented literature and arts was unfolded in the field of literature and arts in several years in the early 1970s. People said that that was a revolution in literature and arts, the Renaissance in the 20th century. I think they're right. Under his leadership, with genius and unusual artistic endowment, 
a great leap forward and change took place in all fields of literary and artistic ideas, theories, and creative practice. And many problems, which had remained unsolved for thousands of years, were solved one after another. Kim Jong-il illustrated a great idea and theory for the revolution in literature and art, personally improved the scripts and articles to be perfect with bright designs and phrases, and thus brought about a period of a new change in the development of human literature and art. His imperishable services will shine forever. The birth of the Sea of Blood style revolutionary opera was another event that put an end to the history of conventional operas and marked the beginning of a new opera art which occurs with the emotion and aesthetic tastes of the Korean people. Kim Jong-il set a genuine example of socialist literature and art. He also ensured the creation of a dance notation on other cultural wealth that deserves a special recording in the history of human art. The dance notation by which however complex rhythmic dance movements can be performed has provided a solution of the problem that had remained unsolved in the artistic world for many centuries. By devoting great efforts for the development of the art of cinema, Kim Jong-il found all-round perfect solutions to all the theoretical and practical questions arising in cinematic creation and thus opened up the heyday of cinematic development. His outstanding ideas and theories, which clarified all the principles and methods of cinematic creation, have served as the guideline to the creation of masterpieces. Thanks to his original policy of literature and art, the producers have been able to produce masterpieces in succession.
President Kim Il-sung, founder of the Revolutionary Armed Forces, said, I am proud of the fact that there is another general, General Kim Jong-il, in our country. I am completely free from worries because Comrade Kim Jong-il, who is well up in both literary and military art, is my successor. Kim Jong-il nurtured his guts worthy of an illustrious general by listening to the anti-Japanese gun shorts in his early years and acquired the resourcefulness of a famous general by the operations table at the Supreme Headquarters during the war time. He put forward military affairs as the most important of war state affairs and has always devoted great efforts to army force development. Firmly believing in the philosophical principle that the destiny of a country depends on the gun, Kim Jong-il, supreme commander of the Korean People's Army, pushes army-centered politics. Kim Jong-il mastered the Juche-orientated military thought, theory, and method of war evolved by President Kim Il-sung, and also read up all the books about military strategy and tactics, methods of special warfare, ordnance science, war history and military biographies, the books written by famous generals and military theoreticians. Kim Jong-il set forth the Chuche orientated training policy for developing the entire army into cadre army and modernizing the entire army and has strengthened it into powerful army. He has developed a Chuche orientated military thought and theory to meet the requirement of modern warfare and provided an ever victorious ideological, theoretical, strategic, and tactical weapons. These classic works provide a very important program for the development of revolutionary armed forces and modern warfare, because they are man-sent the scientific revolutionary ideas and theories that the victory of war depends on the ideology of armed soldiers, not on weapons and equipment. The revolutionary ranks, each man of which is a match for a hundred fools, the revolutionary ranks determined to become bullets and bombs to protect their supreme commander Kim Jong-il with lives. The revolutionary armed forces of the Workers' Party of Korea have grown to be an ever-victorious, steel-like army under the banner of modeling the entire army on the Chuch idea. Foreign military experts highly praise Kim Jong-il, who strengthened the People's Army so that it can destroy whatever enemy at a stroke. Respected General Kim Jong-il is an omnipotent great general who has attained all the military qualifications and personalities at the highest level. General Kim Jong-il is a peerless general who stands firmly in the military and political center of the world. The progressive people of the age of independence have full confidence in General Kim Jong-il. General Kim Jong-il is the people's great general who is entirely different from the military commanders and thinkers who left their names in history. About the greatness of Kim Jong-il, the son of Mount Bak du President Kim Il-sung said, The U.S. imperialists are increasing tension by performing team split joint military exercise every year, but comrade Kim Jong-il maintains full confidence, taking countermeasures without turning an eyelash. 
The more the enemy runs a mark to provoke a war, the stronger impetus he gives to grand construction, rousing the entire army and all the people to the heroic struggle. Kim Jong-il is clairvoyant enough to indicate the path of the times and far-sighted enough to see through the trend of development in however complex situation. When others preach it liberalization, he divined the signs of the collapse of the political parties in power more clearly than anybody else and published classic works in succession. That they are defaming socialism by calling it totalitarian, barracks-like and administrative commanding, even now when socialism has disintegrated and capitalism has revived in many countries, serves as clear proof that the renegades of socialism are the studios of imperialism. sweeps across the world, Korea is advancing vigorously displaying the might of single-hearted unity under the banner of socialism. Kim Jong-il published a series of immortal works which declared a total bankruptcy of the imperialists and the renegades from socialism who were fussing about the end of socialism. On publication, his works aroused stormy responses among the broader section of the people of the five continents of the world. The great program of the international communist movement, the program which surpasses the communist manifesto, the great banner which saves the destiny of socialism. Everyone who wants to live in the independent new world is seeking the path of life and struggle in the works published by Kim Jong-il. progressive people of the world unanimously say. The future of mankind is bright because Kim Jong-il, the top brain of the world, is standing in the center of the world. It is the great fortune of mankind that we have the ideological and theoretical giant, the son of destiny on our planet. Although the imperialists and the renegades from revolution are fussing about the end of socialism, the world will advance vigorously along the road of independence, the road of socialism, because comrade Kim Jong-il is leading the cause of making the world independent to victory. Glory to Kim Jong-il, the son of the world revolution. Long live comrade Kim Jong-il. Throngs of reverent people, great streams of best wishes on the five continents of the world. People throughout the world earnestly wish it to bring the greatest glory to offer the deepest thanks to Kim Jong-il, who is leading mankind along the road of independence.
People throughout the world continue to send congratulatory telegrams and letters of deepest respect and reverence and highest praise to Kim Jong-il. Statesmen and party officials ceaselessly visit Kim Jong-il, the outstanding leader of the movement to rebuild socialism, who is held in their absolute trust and reverence. They are paying the highest respect to the imperishable merit of Kim Jong-il, which led them to unite solidly under the banner of the Pyongyang Declaration and powerfully encouraged the movement to rebuild socialism. They are determined to fight stoutly regarding his classic works as the great socialist charter. The leaders of many countries have awarded the highest decorations to Kim Jong-il, who has made a contribution of world historic significance to the times and history. Nobody in the world is as great as Kim Jong-il, who has rendered the most distinguished services in human history by his genius, his great ideas and theories, his outstanding leadership ability and energetic activities. Each of these decorations expresses the most ardent wishes of the progressive people of the world for him to lead a cause of independence of humanity to victory. For his immortal ideological and theoretical merits, the great leader, Kim Jong-il, has been awarded the titles of Honorary Professor and Honorary Doctor of the Chikulaya University. An Honorary Doctor of the Huacho State University of Peru. Chairman of the Committee of Writers and Artists for Pan-African Peace and Democracy in the Congo, the Certificate of the Master in 1994 of the Association of Eurasian Common House, Honorary Professor of the Pueboli Free School of Politics in Mexico, and the Honorary Titles and Academic Degrees of many countries. On the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Workers' Party of Korea, the Academy of Natural Sciences of Russia awarded the title of its honorary academician and memorial gold medal number no. one of scientific inventor to Kim Jong-il for his great merit in the development of the church idea. President Kim Il-sung said in delight, Comrade Kim Jong-il is the symbol of all the successes and victories. 
Without Kim Jong-il, there would be neither Korea nor the world of independence. Only when there is comrade Kim Jong-il, the world will become independent and the 21st century will become bright. The 21st century will be Kim Jong-il's century. Thanks to the great leader Kim Jong-il's brilliant ideas and theories, the Workers' Party of Korea and the Korean people with the dignity of an ideologically powerful nation, a politically powerful nation, will always be crowned with victory and glory.